what's going on again and today we're going to talk about the effects um uh, personally i like putting effects on stuff and the next video after that i'm going to show you how to uh automate your effects so you can be on beat so first off we got this beat and i'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it off it's, the, it's one of the ableton lab break beats So first off, I got an audio filter, and I'm going to reset this one. I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to put in another one. I'm going to uh, let you hear what it sounds like when you're messing with the knob sometimes. So I'm going to give it 10 seconds of uh, play, playability. So I'm going to see what I can do in 10 seconds with, uh, with all these knobs. So counting and go. Cool. You see, you can do a lot of stuff with auto filter and just by messing with the knobs, you can figure out a lot of stuff on your own. So that was one and we're going to delete this. Now let's go to beat repeat. Let's give it another. Uh, I'm going to give it 20 seconds. I'm not going to be because I really don't have no timer on hand. Um, yeah, I don't have no timer on hand. You know what? I'm going to keep that up so you can see. Uh, I can see uh, how much time I got when I mess with it. So let's do it again. Um, let's get 20 seconds starting on the 40. And the 2 and the 3 and the go. That was cool. So that's what you can do with beat repeat. It basically repeats the beats and uh, the and keeps the samples in a buffer and spits it out um, through real time buffers and stuff like that. So that's beat repeat. Now let's try chorus. Like it. Cool. That's chorus. All right. We got chorus out the way. And let's delete this. Now let's go to compressor. Now this is where it really jumps your bone. So I, I pretty much know about this. You always want to keep the threshold. And plus, if you hit um, this button right here, this hot swap, you can go between your different modes. And you see you got acoustic, brick wall, or you don't have to drag it. You can just cl double click it and it turns into it. So let's listen to a, a few presets with um, the compressor. Whoa. Let's just stop this. No, what just happened? Oh, okay, hit. Now I can go to acoustic. That's the one I really like. It basically uh, gets your audio, pulls it down, and uh, pulls it up at a threshold in the output and the gain reduction and all that stuff that's all pretty cool you're pretty much like that when you mess with your drums uh and then your eq3 it's just like a filter um i'm gonna replace it uh let's delete this now let's go let's go with this one
cool. And you can like solo them too. So if you just want the lows going or just the highs or the mids. It's cool. Now we got EQ3 out the way. Let's delete this one. And let's throw in Erosion. Cool, that's Erosion. It's pretty much simple. Uh, more of a more of a uh, throwing types of white noise into the mix and your samples to make them sound dirty and gritty. And Redux is more like a um, eight bit player, and you can down sample it and up sample it. I'm gonna have to cut this one down because I already know it's kind of crazy on on Redux. It gets crazier, so let's play it. So it pretty much throws a lot of grit, like erosion, but more of the grit. And it's to me, uh, it's more of a distortion, I would say, in a, a more of a bit 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 crusher. It's basically a bit crusher. It's just named different. It's called Redux. I guess they want to redux the sound quality. And okay, first, and we got reverb. I'm not trying to drag this off to make it long, but uh, we got reverb. Of course, you know what reverb is. Of course, everybody know what reverb is. Now, let's get to the delay. Everybody know what delay is. Everybody ain't stupid, but everybody know what delay is. So uh, we're gonna put delay in. Everybody and their mama know this is a left side, right side stereo delay. Simple delay, stereo delay. Um, and we're, we're um, let's keep, no, let's don't keep the tuner in. I mean, excuse me, let's don't keep. And you right here, when you right click the title bar, you can switch up to repitch, fade, or jump. Uh, you can check your, um, like, compressor. I think compressor got some one where, no. One of them got one. I forgot what it was. I think it was auto filter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna delete those. So um, we got a tuner. This is uh, mainly for samples. So uh, let's just throw it in there and just see if we can get a tune. And then you can switch your target. You can go to. You can switch it up like that. So you can see. You see it hit C. Uh, C sharp. Or you want to go back to uh, this one. This view is easy. Cool. Um, you got your tuner. This is good for 808s and uh, sounds what you're trying to get the key of. And that's one good one to know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's. Last audio effect is the utility. The, the one I like. The plus one. Let's just take that one off so this one is uh mainly for when you want to just uh up the volume or down the volume without worrying about um going down with the volume because if you go down the volume in here if you just check it out it makes a clicking noise you know i really don't like it so if you use the utility you can it, it kind of stops the clicking noise when you want to do like uh automation jumps um i'm just gonna draw some quick automation boom 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 this is cool it's 
more cleaner. That's what I say. It's more cleaner if you did like your automation uh, stumps like it. And um, to be honest, the util is the best way to use your. And they use it for volume automation. It's really good instead of using the volume automation because it uh, when you go to zero or uh, or to what's this. Uh, yeah, infinity, negative infinity decibels. If you go down here, that click noise from the the music starting and stopping from the click noise from the the main mixer inside here, it, it it's not smooth at all. So uh, thank y'all for looking at this video. Um, these are the effects of Ableton Live Lite. It's not all the good effects that some uh, Ableton has they they have a lot of good other effects when you buy the sweet and standard edition but i'm gonna keep it real this is the um uh, light edition and it's it's still the bomb i still like it so uh thank y'all for listening and like and subscribe at the bottom guys all right if y'all want to see more videos which is i'm trying to make a video or a day for y'all all right all right